better be glad we brought them in. We've encountered our first bear at the Alligator River National Refuge. He's out there feeding. Scott is currently filming this bear. Is that one way out there? Where? Way out there. Like yeah, that is one. Yeah. A husband, a father, a filmmaker. My name's Scott Stewart, and at this point, I'm not exactly sure where my path in life has taken me. But what I do know, only time will tell. But consider this an open invitation to be part of my journey. Most everyone has something they're deeply curious about in life. For me, over the past five years, I've taken a strong interest in finding areas to seek out and film bears in the wild. During an internet search one day, I came across an image of a bear that looked as if his home should have been somewhere up north, Canada or somewhere, where bears are known to be much larger. Little did I know, he was much closer to me than expected, at a place called Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge. That's all I needed to know to plan this adventure. We arrived with one thing in mind, to see black bears, but not just any bear, but what they refer to as the coastal giants. Huge bear that have been recorded to weigh up to 700 pounds and live in the refuge, feeding in the massive crop fields, wooded swamplands and forest areas. We had just arrived and were very excited to say the least. In our mission, vlog our safari off the southeastern coast of North Carolina and hopefully find the great coastal giants living in the area. But here we are, and we're in the middle of a massive refuge right now. We had no idea it was this big, and the video is not going to do it any justice. We've been here for about 45 minutes, and we've been down quite a few roads, so we just, this is the first time we've rolled since we've been in here. Be glad we brought the van. Holy crap. Encountering our first bear caught us by surprise and off guard. Driving the van, we had struggled to pull focus and dial in the shot. Our first attempt to film a bear wasn't a success, but hopefully, we'd find more. Bunch of <laughs> We've encountered our first bear at the Alligator River National Refuge. He's out there feeding. We've got flies in our van, but first bear, or actually second bear, we saw one down the road. We're really getting a look at this one. Sir, do you see these flies that are in here? Yes, God. What are we supposed to do? About 45 minutes on the refuge, and we'd already seen a handful of different bears in the crop areas from a distance. But still, no luck yet with finding one of the large coastal giants. But being out there in nature with the wildlife, unplugged from the world, was quite refreshing. He's just hanging out. He's like, what are you guys doing? He hasn't moved his head like the whole time. And for only our first time in the first few hours on the refuge, our day was a success. Tomorrow, we would arrive earlier to increase our chances of finding more bears, or hopefully even a great coastal giant. We called it a day and headed to our hotel on the coast in Nags Head, North Carolina. Hey, 
right, so we're back at the Alligator River National Refuge. We're gonna try this again, and see if we can find anything. most active in the morning hours, say from about 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., eating, you know, grazing, looking for food, um, and then as well as right before dusk, about 5.30 p.m. till about, about 8.30 p.m. are good times to find a bear. That is one. About 30 minutes later, we had spotted a handful of cubs lounging up in a tree aside a crop area. From about a hundred yards away with a ravine in between us, the mother bear kept a close eye on me as I was filming. So Scott is currently filming this bear. I I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Right there, that that bear right there. Um, and it looks like that bear's on the move. This very shot was the first time I'd ever gotten to film a bear so vividly. We've been many times to Cades Cove in the Smoky Mountains and saw bears there. But this occasion here, I got a chance to spend about 20 minutes or more filming from a good distance away being mindful to not stress or frighten her. It was just me and the bear that morning. So now I'm filming Scott, filming the bear, filming me. It was the perfect opportunity to film her that morning. Eventually, she took a final look around her territory and then slowly began to move near her cubs. She crossed over the embankment and sat underneath the tree her cubs were in. She quietly watched over them as they climbed down. As the great protector she is, they all began to descend to meet her. From there, these bears would go about their travels and foraging for the day. It was a great moment to capture in nature and I was glad I was there to witness it. 